Remember the shot Chris Kirk in here. Kirk used the left side of the tee. He uses a no his normal ball flight right to left. This one using the wind by Dunlap. He'd love to do it. Oh, Chris Kirk did earlier. Get it close. No. Or how about it? Hey. Whoa! Oh. 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 The amateur turned pro. The winner on tour earlier in the year. Mentioned yesterday has been looking to kind of jumpstart his 2024 year. And you talk about jumpstarting your second round. This was his second shot at the new par 5 tenth. Took a look for a double eagle. It was a tap in. This one is downhill. Oh, beautiful roll that ball. Great close up from our team there. That was beautiful. It's on a great line. Oh, you're not kidding. What a shot from Fitzpatrick. He'll have that to go to four under. Maybe feeling like it's too windy today. Yeah, he might take it out all the time is the way he's filling it up. Four under goes Fitzpatrick. Get quickly to two under par on his round. Now at 13. I mean, this just never leaves his target. Beautiful close up right here. So for Ricky Eagle at 10, birdie at 13. Here comes Ricky Fowler. As we take you to 17, this is Ricky Fowler for birdie. Never a doubt on that one. Been all around the hole today. Ricky Fowler gets himself to four under on the wings of an eagle and two birdies so far in his efforts. This is Kevin Yu on seven. What a shot by Kevin Yu. Absolutely delightful. He is two shots back of our leader, Min Woo Lee. Very well done. That's a strength of his game right there. How about that? Woohoo, Ricky. No, the putter is hot. Ricky Fowler is now tied for 12, five under, and the red numbers were all from today. Continue. This now his third at the par five third where we just left our marquee group. And he'd add another one. And how about that from Ricky Fowler, saucy. There we go. Okay. Technology got the best of it. Fitzpatrick does find that bunker and able to put some spin on it into the wind. So that's the difference downwind into the wind. Kim runs it past. Fitzpatrick stops it at the hole. Trying to heat up as well, trying to get his mojo back after a couple of early top tens earlier in the season. That was a birdie at 15. Yeah, How about that? Five under goes Fitzpatrick. Indeed, Victor Perez to eight under. Aggressive start line. Oh, wow. Wow is right. Center with two perfect nine speed. under in sole possession of the top of the leaderboard. Oh, that was pretty. That was really good. Yeah, really good. <laughs> and it is really good. You betcha. Steely young nerves there. He's impressed me. Yeah. 
Dang, three really solid shots. Drew Handler's 343-yard drive on a Rory. Well done. Rory is pouring that one over the... Victor Perez had the lead by himself from France. This was a birdie at the six that got into 10 under, but he bogeyed his final hole of the day, which was at the ninth, so he falls back into that tie. Not a lot of green to work with. And a beauty. Wow. Well, it was perfect with sand saves yesterday, and that adds to the story. An earlier play from Nick Dunlap came at the par five third. This for Eagle putting through the fringe. As we mentioned, Dunlap has really kind of cooled off since he had that big win in the desert. But he is heating up today. The Eagle falls there for Dunlap. Long hitting Garrick Higo for birdie at the 12th. Yeah, this part has a little speed down the hill. And that's picking up one on the field for sure. Great birdie with this long par four into the plane, right back into the teeth of the wind today. This par five actually played easier than the par four by quite a margin, and Eckroat handles it. You get the feeling that he'll be have his chance later on in his career. This is Bud Colley at the sixth. Looking for the old one hopper. Yeah! <laughs> Much easier when you can play right-handed, right? Wow. <laughs> That's a pretty nice shot there to, to kind of trust that Bermuda grass in front. And he says he's probably played these golf courses here 150 times growing up through the years. 15. He go for birdie. Oh, Garrett, gets that one to go. And another one of the locals transplanted from South Africa. He lives close by as well. Moment ago, he go for birdie. Yeah, what a shot to get it to here. Six, three on 16 is always so nice. Parts of your game, he ended up being number one in the world, and the rest is history. To 13. And Austin Eckroat. See what he can do here. Oh, how about that? that? Nice bounce, didn't he? Oh, oh. Look at that play. Wow. Beautiful shot. There. Let's go to six and pick up Parker Cootie. He's birdied three of his first five holes. Excellent drive down the sixth hole. His front right pin and oh, oh man, Cody, that miss. <laughs> it's all over it. Long bunker shot here back into the wind. Let's see if he can pull it off Luke Donald style. It's two for two so far. Oh well, yeah, make that three for three. What's the quick key to bunker play, Luke? You're one of the best. Perfect place to putt from. He's made some nice putts today. Yeah, he's only one back now of Austin Eckroad. He can send this out a little more assurance the wind's going to help bring it back. A little bit higher, but not high on a good line. Oh, fabulous. And that's his fourth birdie of the day. Rory McIlroy moves to six under par. Garrick Higo has a chance to tie for the lead. How about this stat? He's 11 for 11 inside 20 feet today. He's only had 16 putts so far. Oh. Now there are two men at 10 under par. Austin Eckroat and that guy, Garrick Higo. This is for a little 2-3 action on 15 and 16, which Going to gain you plenty of shots on the field. Good look at pot. No doubt about it. McElroy. Yeah, such a skinny green. Two way tie for now, but he can send it to 11 under here. This putter in the field right now, and there's another one. Oh, wow. Just continues to pour him in. We're going to follow Bud's shot here with our track man technology. And it is a good one. And that extended absence from the tour for more than three years. Injuries, illness. Wow, not a lot of guys could come back from that long of a stint off tour and come back this successfully. 
But Kali is just one back of the leader, Higo, in the Cognizant Classic in the Palm Beaches. So there it is, Kali, Higo, and Ekrode. You can watch Higo finish up again on Golf Central and streaming on PGA Tour Live and the rest of the way they stack up. Good look at leaderboard here, Luke, as we get ready for the weekend. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch more, click here. To subscribe, click here.